Right people, it's now 7 o'clock p.m. and uh, these birds have been battling through the day. Nice bright weather most of the day actually. The thunderstorms and rain came in about, I think it was one o'clock-ish in the end. Had rain at one, absolutely hammered it down. There's four birds. I'm now going to get these down because I'll tell you why. The fifth is sitting on that house there. Been there about two hours. But in fact, about 10 minutes ago, it was up in the air, joined these, joined the kit. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to drop them because uh, it's going to take it off. Because if it goes down again, it's going to take them with it. So before I even come in and got the, the iPad to video that, I come out of the shed, I've been in the shed. And now I come out and then there was four again. And sure enough, that was on the house again, up there. So I don't want these joining that one. So I'm gonna get them down now. They've done, like I say, they've done 12 hours. I ain't gonna push them anymore. George! What's he eating? Oh, he's found an egg I've thrown out, look. Go on, you dog. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna drop these because I don't want that one to come off the house again and end up taking this. There you are, that feet. You've got to keep an eye on them, is not you? So I'm gonna get these down now. Because they want to come down and I don't want them to land on a house with that other one. So we'll get these four boys in which are two pure prints, which are on the loft now, and two that are off Dorothy. And luckily that one's not come off the house. Oh, and I, know, I know which one it is anyway. I know exactly which one it is. It's got feathers missing. Yeah, it's now coming, look. It's got feathers missing off the end of, near the, near the, near the bottles. There's a few feathers missing. Come on. You're watching that land. It's got a sort of a bald beak at the front. Look, that's see them bottles, they stand out, don't they? Let me catch it and I'll show you something. Come on. Pretty, uh, pretty much, crikey, must be months ago now, somebody commented, I noticed, about my pigeons being too bred too early for the first fly, which I understand, yeah, but I wanted to breed early to, uh, to fancy in the end you actually commented on a video and said my birds are uh, bred too early and they'll be falling to pieces. So what I've done then was I cut the flights. I'll show you if you can see this. Here's that bird. Look at the beak. It's got them feathers missing at the top of the beak. It's been like it for forever. And it's been sat on the house for weeks. Anyway, I cut the ninth fly on this. And that's only just dropped it. Look at this, that's an early ring. Look at that, 20. 26, this is this is actually an early ring, early round young un. <coughs> and uh, I cut the seventh flight, but this is the only pigeon where I actually held the flights back. So this is the same age as the early ring, early rung birds, but it's only dropped the one flight. The next flight is poking up through the bottom there. You can't see it, can you? There, there it is. The next flight's poking up, but it's only just dropped that, and I snipped the end of that flight off, hoping that it would hold the flights, which it did, it did, but there's something wrong with the bird anyway. I mean, look at, look at the state of that nose. And, and then, as consequently, look, I sat on the neighbor's house for about two hours this afternoon, where the rest have done 12 hour shift. They've put a 12 hour shift in, this done about a 10 hour shift. Don't mind, we'll put them in here. 
Which I said we'll put her in there. We'll just put these drops away. Because um, it's raining. And I want to get the other four in. Job done. Look at that. Look. 12 hour shifters. <laughs> I know it's nothing compared to the NTU, but. They weren't bad for a little private fly. Look at these babies here. Look at them beauties. Right, let's, uh, we've, got get, we've got a job now. We've got to get these ones in. And keep the... I don't want the blues up there now in the wet. Come on. Come on. There we go. All in. So yeah, these two, these two prints at the front look, which are sort of grizzles, the blue grizzle and the grizzle, they're off Dorothy. In fact, that blue there is off Dorothy, and the blue behind is off Dorothy. I spoke about that in a previous video. I think I might not have it, I might not have put it uploaded, but I might just drop these ones in there. Yeah, look, that was off Dorothy. Look at that. That is three quarter pilot. Right. Let me go in there for them. Come on. Right. That's a nice, this, this is a nice one actually, that one. That's nice, that one. Good girl. Good girl, isn't ya? Let's get this other one here. Come on. That's a hen bird. That was a cop, but that's cooling this morning in the basket. I'm going to basket them up this morning. Come on. God, a bit rough for them birds, isn't he? Right. I know it's probably probably wrong, but I always feed as soon as they're in I feed them. Everybody says when do I when do I feed them? But I feed them as soon as they come in. They're expecting it, so I give it to them. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Again, look at that one there. Look at these. Look at our wattles. The feathers above our nose. Ain't no good, that pigeon. Twelve hours. By the two prints there. I'm not breeding any prints next year. I know I'll probably always say it. The missus says, hey, you always say that. I'm not breeding any prints next year. I've been sorting these out. These birds here, while we're here, let's have a 29 minutes. I'll, uh, I'll chat and show you for the next few minutes. This pigeon up here, that's the first rounder. She's actually off Dorothy as well. Come on then, come on. Come on then, number 20. She is off Dorothy. I've lost the nest, mate. But yeah, these, crikey, we've got loads here. We have got loads of birds. Let me show you. I'll just get rid of these bowls because uh, we don't want to have any accidents off these boxes. They tend to, these bowls over when I open these trap these doors. But yeah, I've got this right now. Yep, these this pigeon here was the nervous blue. 
he is nest mate to this red. Okay. They are off pair number four. I'll quickly just show you. Pair number four, which is here. Original stock bird paired to a young'un, 21,000. Uh, 2021, sorry. 2002, I see young'un, 2021. Off an original, original pair. Paired back to a hen bird. And I've still got them four birds at 38 and 39. Four, 38 and 39. And 48 and 49. 38, 39. 48 and 49 they are all four birds the same way so I think we're going to fly them as a kit potentially they could be the next flying kit they're all going to go up they're going to go out tomorrow they're going to go out tomorrow so we'll get that back there. Mind your neck. So yes, we've got four there off the same pair. They're all going to go tomorrow. And then I've got another load, of, another round here, look. 